I watched and reacted to this many Whoa. monsters. A total of 428 monsters. Then I rate them in a tier list. And now I am reacting to me reacting to that. This is more of a summary video because some people don't have time to watch six hours of suffering. That stream was pain incarnate, but big claps to me for the longest stream I have ever done in my career. Yes. It was horrible. As a result of this stream, though, we were able to compile a tier list. Incredible. We also were able to get quite a few people to unsubscribe and also a lot of people to send me threats. People are pretty passionate about which monsters go into which letter category. Strange. In this video, I kind of want to go through them kind of briefly to explain the tier list and also because I value your time uh, is to allow you to see the tier list without having to go through the entire stream I'm doing. Let's start off with the lowest of the lowest. You know what? No, I, I've changed my mind. We're going to do the highest one because I want this to have a good audience retention. So yes, this is a biased tier list. I did, however... Uh, receive a lot of peer pressure from the the viewers i had asked many times to the viewers uh, what their opinion was and damn did they let me know as you can imagine it was quite difficult to analyze all the letters flickering through on my left hand side of the screen while also like trying to do a stream on the right hand side and try and get like the average letter that everyone was really hoping for and then of course if i got that wrong or had a different opinion you would get then a surplus of more comments saying how bad i was uh even now the stream post stream th there's a lot of like just people just not happy the stream was a lose lose situation and this video probably won't do any better the most controversial and surprisingly the most controversial was Drumpler on Earth Island. I don't know what set up that. I don't know why people were so passionate about that. I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal. Turns out the community are very divided about that. And then of course, I saved the Wobbix to last. As you can imagine, that one was um, also quite controversial. It's just a game about singing monsters. But here we are. So of course I'm very biased. I put Sponge in their own category. I knew that if I put them in S or A, people would not understand. People would immediately leave and people would be more upset. For the sake of the the integrity of this tier list, they go into Sponge tier. And of course you have the best. You have the S tier. Uh, I pretty much put all the weirdos in the S tier. I really wanted to put like at least one monster in each island into the S tier. That wasn't really by design, but like it kind of made sense. It's always like that one monster in the island that really shined. Of course, I didn't do that to all the islands. I'm pretty happy with this one. There's some maybe I would like, you know, put down. I have some like personal favorites that I think not everyone's going to agree with. But overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with how this worked out. I think this one's pretty agreeable. I think some people would want them in S tier. It was really hard to make it so S tier was quite exclusive and we just put like everything in S tier. Trust me, there's more I want to put in S tier, but we, we had to be quite restrictive on what we do in S tier and what we put in S tier. So it felt special. So these monsters were really the the, the creme of the creme, the, the best. Creme de la creme? How's the saying go? Creme. These are the cream. Then you have A tier. A tier is a big fat list of monsters. Just to clarify as well, we had six hours to analyze each one, rank each one, and take in consideration the chat. So of course, we didn't have time to compile them in order. These aren't in order of how good they are. That's impossible. You're asking the impossible. A was a safe bet. I think people were more upset about monsters not being high up than monsters being quite low. So people weren't upset that like a low monster was an A that they thought we should be lower, but I put an A. But there's some bangers here. Uh, I know, was it Magical Sanctum? Was a really strong contender. Lots of really good ones on the island. Absolutely bang tunes. Yo, we have a lot of wobblins here as well. Nine wobblins. Dude, absolute bops. Amazing. Bangers. Even the dipsters. Even they made it here on Bone Island dipsters. I can't believe how good they were. Now, of course, if, if I were to spend even more time going through these and analyzing them, 
Would I change them up? Yes, completely and utterly. Some of them I literally have 10 seconds, if that, to analyze and go on to the next one. Because there were so many, I'm gonna rush for time. And then every single time there was one that people really disagreed on, we had to go through it slowly, analyze them, and eventually I would put it in C just to spite the chats. If I'm honest, I'm very surprised so many of the seasonal shanty made into A, because honestly, the island, I'm not a fan. I'm not a great, like it's, yo, it's still good. Like they're all good. But this one in particular, I think is quite weak. Then we have B. Now, just to base this off, right? S is like the best. A is like, you are almost the best, but you are still really good. B is like, yo, you are good. We like Bs, but you're not like phenomenal. You're not like A. And then C is like, yeah, you're, you're, you're okay. You're good, I like it. I, I am happy that you exist. And then D is like, you could be better. And then F is gonna be like, go to sleep. So yeah, B is not bad. It, it's really hard because we, you know, you start with the basics, you start with Mammoth and Doodoo and, and all the other basic monsters that you get from the start. And then we move on to the more complex islands later on. Where I place monsters kind of change later on the stream. So like, I, I mean, personally, I would love to go back and like change a few of the earlier ones we put in here. Like people are pointing out like, hey, why is like noggin in B, but like this other one not in B and A and stuff like that. I kind of agree. The earlier ones I think are a little bit misplaced compared to the later ones when we had more of a, a foundation of monsters in tier list. So we had more of an idea of like where it was that they fit into the tier list. So it's, it's quite complicated to do a tier list with this many different variables, man. So there's a hundred percent not gonna be accurate this was a crazy attempt. And by the way, there is a link in the description down below for you guys to try it out. You can thank Epic Dino Dragon for the tier list being made. Thank you so much, Epic Dino Dragon, for not only making the tier list, spending all that time making this on tier list maker, but also the support through the stream as well. B kind of worked out well. We even put like the island noise in B. Even some Wobbuxes made it to B. Congratulations, Wobbuxes. People knew at first I wasn't a fan of Wobbux. It's growing on me. We'll get to that later. We, ha we have a thing for that later. And in C, again, the monsters in C are not bad. In fact, they're still good. Like we still want them awake and making noise, you know? I'm still glad they're in the game, okay? But they didn't quite make it a B, all right? And to make B and A special, there has to be a C. And look at that. Look at all these rare Wobbuxes in, in C. You guys should be rejoicing. Rejoice. And you might be thinking that's a little bit low. We'll get to that later. There's some Reelings in, in C as well. People were a big fan of Reeling. People did not like my rating of Reedling. I also thought I would go into this liking Reedling more, okay? Turns out when I was listening to them compared to everyone else and all the other monsters, eh, just it, it didn't quite hold up, okay? I think maybe the earlier players, players who been playing for like three months perhaps, yeah, Reedling is like amazing. However, once you play as long as me, that might change. Not saying it will, I'm saying it might. Then we finally have D, the ones that didn't quite hold up here. Uh, Gobbly Gourd was surprising. I thought all Gobbly Gourds was going to be in F. Not true. We had to fight in this one, but Seasonal Shanty, yes, it was It was better. It's a little bit more. It does something similar to F. It, it kind of sings. So an attempt was made. I think D was maybe a little bit too negative you got wabux here um again we'll get to that later <laughs> i hate these guys these guys suck tring disappointing there's a few ones on uh amber island here amber island has a lot of monsters so there's a lot of like variation from like s to d here even f i think um because they don't get to play that much it's very short when you compare them to them on other islands they don't seem as impressive honestly Amber Island, you know, it, it gives some monsters some like good highlights and gives others like some very short parts that didn't really affect it that much. I don't really like the whole like uh, Cactus Lord and Flower uh, duet that much. I love the lore between them. I, I, I'm not a fan of that verse, all right? And then we have F. People, <laughs> some monsters had to go in F. We couldn't just not put anything in F, all right? An F, I think, was going to be very subjective. I think everyone has their own preference of an F. Everyone has their own F monsters. For me, this was it. Some people would put, like, uh, Kanya Light 
into F. And I think that's absolutely insane. For some reason, people don't like Kanye on Light Island. I don't get it. I don't understand it. You guys are strange. But let me try and find that right now. I forget, did I cave? Did I cave for this one? I did not cave. I put her in A tier. Good. Good, that's where she belongs. I, I really like her in Light Island, okay? I don't give a shit. And F tier, we have um, one of the scups. How many scups are there, actually? There's two scups? How many scups are there, bro? We put tribal scups in C, but like, I put the other scups in D. I think we're being a bit generous there, honestly. And then we put scups in F. Yeah, lots of people don't like scups. I, for one, I don't hate scups. I just don't think it's that great. And I think Island is the worst one out of all of them. Uh, because I put the other ones in D, I was like, well, because you're so much worse than that one, you have to go in F. Winks, I'm not a fan of, all right? People kept telling me like, oh, did you know that the uh, Yowler, the one you love and put an S tier, this one right here is the same person who does Winks? Did you know that? And to, to those people I say, I do now, and it changes nothing. In fact, now I don't feel so bad about putting Winx in F tier, because I kind of balanced it out by putting Yowler in S tier. Now it's balanced. Now that person can't be sad or upset. Good, I'm glad now. Winx is still F, you can't convince me otherwise. People love Winx, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. This British mother trucker right here, F. Huzzah? No. More like, f you, <laughs> piece of <laughs> All right. Mm. And then Gobbly Gourd, of course. You know my feelings about Gobbly Gourd. Not a fan. I have other peers who agree with me, and I have others who completely love Gobbly Gourd. And then you have like the weird subsection of people who want to smash. They, they swipe right on Gobbly Gourd. I don't want to talk about those people. They upset me in the stream. <laughs> As you can see at the bottom is all the Wobbix, uh, the Wobbix tier. Now, this does not mean it's lower than F. I just had to make a different tier here. It was very difficult to rate the Wobbix. The reason being, some of these monsters, we rated them by listening to them by themselves. The Wobbix by themselves were dope. They were really good. They could easily be A or S. I'm not even kidding you. It was surprising to me. I really liked them. But, on the island, they didn't sound good at all. It sounded weird. It, it's like, you can have two songs you really love, right? But when you put them together at the same time and listen to them, it doesn't make the song better. It's a, it's a bunch of noise you're listening to, okay? Now, some of them work better with the islands than the others. However, to simplify it, I put them... Um, most of them over here. The exceptions were, let's see if we go up here. Yeah, we got like some here in B tier. Yeah, Wobblin was really good. I haven't actually personally got the Wobblin one, but that was pretty dope. That fit in really well. We put the Gold Island one up here in A. Lots of people really wanted that. To be honest, it was really good. I would say it was a high B, if anything, but we put an A to please people. And this guy almost got to S as well. Uh, the Earth Epic Wobbex as well, because I actually really like him. He's pretty dope. Maybe he should have been put an S thinking about it. I don't know, but he was really good. And that was it. That's like the stream summary. It was overall a lot of fun. There was a lot of support. There's also a lot of just crazy people. Yeah, again, I, I gotta like just put this out there in the world. This is a tier list of my opinion. You don't have to like it. You don't have to watch it. You're gonna have a different opinion. Uh, it turns out we're not all a hive mind. Strange, right? We all have like different lives, upbringing, and all the blah, 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 blah. We have different opinions. This is mine. You will disagree. You will. That's fine. You can disagree and put your favorites down below. Please be civil. But anyways, I will be doing some react videos to custom content, some fan-made content on this. We'll be starting Dawn of Fire uh, probably next month, actually. And we will be doing a tier list of the uh, overall songs on Sing Monsters. So the entire, my current just fell down and broke. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. See ya.